Welcome back to Growing Older Together, Season 1, Echoes of the Past, Visions of Tomorrow. I'm Lovis. Have you ever watched a friend or family member take up a new hobby, like gardening, or a new skill, like learning a foreign language, and noticed how much they enjoyed themselves? Did it make you wonder, what kind of hobby or skill can I do? Today, we are looking at why embracing new hobbies and skills at any age is not just possible, but healthy. Getting into new hobbies as we get older can be tough. Things that were easy when we were younger might now be challenging. But here is why it matters. New hobbies and skills are not just about staying busy. They are about personal growth maintaining a positive outlook and enjoying life. Here's what I did a few years ago. I have had issues with my knees for years, especially the right one. It got worse in 2021. So I decided to reach out to a friend, Robert, who had also been my trainer at the YMCA uh, about 10 years ago. He recommended starting with powerlifting. For those who have no idea what I'm talking about, let me break it down. Powerlifting involves three main exercises, bench, squat, and deadlift. Imagine these exercises as the foundation of a house, each supporting a different part of your body's strength. Bench presses build your upper body. Squats strengthen your legs and core. Now, the deadlift works just about everything. And here's the kicker. Each lift not only builds muscles, but increases confidence as you see your progress. After receiving Robert's advice, I began to research powerlifting. I found a lot of information about online powerlifting coaches. I ended up choosing Susan Nybergall, an amazing older powerlifting coach. In October 2022, I began a 90-day challenge. In the beginning, I could not do squats. And even worse, I couldn't even get on the floor to do exercises because not only was it hard getting back up, it was even harder to sit my butt on the floor because of the pain in my knees. I also had to exercise without weights. The exercises provided by Susan had an alternative for every exercise. It was easy to make adjustments. For example, instead of lunges, I did step ups. It was not easy, but I would not give up. Through this, I joined a powerlifting community called the Inner Circle. They were all compassionate, understanding, and very supportive. If you posted that you were having trouble or had questions, there was always someone to lift you or give you words you just needed to hear. I love this community. I completed the 90-day challenge in the first week of December, which was a great accomplishment for me. I could now do exercises on the floor and deadlift over 50 pounds. Powerlifting has been a form of therapy and empowerment. Last week, I started lifting again after a break for a few months. And I'm very happy that I can still deadlift over 100 pounds. As I continue this journey, I am learning not to be hard on myself and acknowledge myself for the little accomplishments versus being mad at myself for not working out. I am excited that I plan to purchase a power cage for my home gym next year. Embracing new hobbies and skills means being open to learning and growing. It is about a positive approach to new experiences that enrich your life, build your confidence, and help you overcome life's challenges. I have shared a part of my journey, but I would love to hear about yours what is a new skill or hobby you have picked up as you have grown older? 
What challenges did you face and how did you overcome them? I would love to hear about your journey. Your story might just inspire someone else to start their journey. As a special resource, next week's show notes will include a link to a free download on examples of hobbies and skills that could inspire you to give it a try. You may learn some new hobbies and skills that you knew nothing about. Also, as a bonus for those who have thought about powerlifting, I have some information that may be interesting. I will also include a link to Susan's Instagram. Before I finish, subscribe to your favorite podcast platform to know when the next episode is available. If you enjoyed this episode, consider sharing it. It helps our community grow. Also, you can listen to these episodes with captions in Spanish and English on my YouTube channel. You will find more details in the show notes. This week, I updated the cover of my podcast by replacing it with a picture of my mom and me. I chose this picture to represent our journey of growing older together. In the next episode, When Loss Echoes Through Time, we explore the deep impact of loss as we age. Whether it is the loss of a loved one, the end of a career, or the fading of old traditions, learn how these experiences shape our lives and how we can find strength. To close, I would like to show a quote by Robert Holden. Make a commitment to having fun. See your best friends and make time for your hobbies and passions. This quote captures what I have been sharing about in my journey. Starting something new, like powerlifting, was not just about staying fit, but about rediscovering joy and fun in my life. It was about connecting with people who lifted me when I was down, just as I hope to lift you through this podcast. And now, I encourage you to think about what brings you joy. Is there a hobby you have neglected or a passion you have put aside? Maybe it is time to recommit to having fun. Share with us what you plan to start or restart and let's inspire each other. Because growing older is not just about adding years to life, but adding life to those years. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Having you as my audience keeps me accountable and motivated to keep improving. I am grateful to share this journey with you. Until next week, let's grow older and wiser together.